Can you solve this math problem? x cubed plus y cubed equals 1. x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 equals 1. Solve the values of x and y. Common methods don't work here. So we have to think up something else. Hmm. There is a special point. Look, look, look. One and one. Oh, the right hand sides have the same value. Just one. So this may be a special point from where we can start or we can solve this problem completely successfully. However, at first, we're always greeted by a question. For the beginning, which equation shall we choose? Of course, the second one. Why? Because a negative number to the power 4 is positive. A positive to the power 4 is also positive. So that's the benefit. Now, what I'm going to do is to find out the intervals of values of x. Okay, have a look. 1 equals x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4. This is special. Because we know any number to the power 4 is not negative. So now, y to the power 4 is not negative. So that means this one is greater or equal to x to the power 4 plus 0, which is equal to x to the power 4. However, x to the power 4 is not negative as well. So it is also greater than or equal to 0. So now we get 1 is greater than or equal to x to the power 4, greater than or equal to 0. Very special. x is in the interval, is in the closed interval from negative 1 to 1. Of course, but it's the same method, y as well. y is also in the closed interval from negative 1 to 1. We've all noticed closed intervals. Mm. Maybe we can firstly inspect the borders. Of course, we can check the solution pairs when x is equal to negative 1, x is 1, y is negative 1, y equals 1. And this is called the first case. I'm going to separate the steps into two cases. The first case, the special values. Of course, I'm going to change, yes, purple. If x equals 1, y is 0. 1 cubed plus 0 cubed is 1. 1 to the power 4 plus 0 to the power 4 is also 1. Okay. It is a solution pair. And if x is negative 1, there's no solution because from the first equation and from the second equation, you get two different values for y. And if y is equal to 1, of course, just symmetric, x is 0. Okay, y is negative 1, no solutions. One pair, two pairs. Okay, now turn to our second case. We've inspected the borders. So now, in our second case, the interval of x should be an open interval from negative 1 to 1 for y as well. An open interval from negative 1 to 1. Now, I'm going to focus on x. I'm going to fix x. And separate this case into two smaller cases. Here, I'm going to separate into x is in the open interval from negative 1 to 0 and from 0 to 1. Of course, 0 is not inclusive 
Why? Because when s when x is equal to zero, y is equal to one. We have a solution pair. Now, because x cubed plus y cubed equals one, so y cubed is one minus x cubed. Because we know x is bigger than negative one, smaller than zero, so x cubed. It is smaller than zero. It is negative. So that means one minus a negative number. Okay, one minus a negative number. The result must be greater than one. Understand? Yes, it's quite easy. What have we got? Y cubed is bigger than one. Okay, that means y is bigger than one. Wait a moment, a contradictory, again, nothing, only a contradictory. Okay, our second small case. In this case, x is in the open interval from 0 to 1. Now, x cubed should also be in the, in the open interval from 0 to 1. Because y cubed is 1 minus x cubed, According to this interval, and we can get y cubed should also be in the open interval from 0 to 1. Of course, then we can get the interval of y. y should be greater than 0 at the same time, smaller than 1. Just like x, the same interval. If x is greater than 0, smaller than 1, then x cubed is, of course, greater than x to the power 4. And y cubed is also greater than y to the power 4. For example, 0 0.1. 0 0.1 all cubed is 0 0.001, and 0 0.1 all to the power 4 is 0 0.0001, of course. Cubed is greater than the fourth power. Because x and y are both greater than 0, smaller than 1. If we add these two inequalities together, x cubed plus y cubed should be greater than x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4. Wait a moment. Again, have a look. The right hand side, 1. The right hand side, 1. That means the left hand side should be equal. However, here, x cubed plus y cubed, this left hand side, x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4, the second left hand side, they're not equal. The first one is greater than the second one, so that's a nonsense again. What does it mean? It is a contradictory and we get no answers under the second case. The system of equations has only two solution pairs, or two pairs of solutions. Of course, these two pairs are 1, 0, or, okay, 0, 1, sorry. Yes, 1, 0, 0, 1. Should you get it? Give me a thumbs up for this wonderful method. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.